Good Morning Britain's Susanna Reid takes on Rishi Sunak's 36-hour fast challenge Rise and Shine, Fame Finders. The breakfast table is buzzing with chatter as Good Morning Britain dives into the hot topic of fasting. Inspired by none other than Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's reported 36-hour fasting routine. In a candid revelation, Susanna Reid spilled the beans about her own daring attempt to mimic Sunak's eating plan. As the morning sun streamed through the windows, she confessed to feeling wobbly after just 14 hours without food. Talk about a hunger-induced roller coaster ride. Richard Madeley, ever the intrepid host, shared Sunak's fasting schedule with viewers, sparking intrigue and curiosity among the morning crowd. Could they handle the challenge of abstaining from food for a whopping 36 hours? Guest Kevin McGuire chimed in with his own fasting experience, prompting Madeley to declare his own intention to give it a try. The studio crackled with energy as the hosts contemplated the prospect of an empty stomach for a whole day. But amid the excitement, Andrew Pierce raised a pertinent question. Are decisions made on an empty stomach just as sharp? A thought-provoking inquiry that left viewers pondering the finer nuances of fasting and its impact on cognitive function. As the discussion unfolded, a chorus of voices emerged from the digital realm, echoing concerns about the stark reality of food insecurity faced by many. Tweets flooded in, reminding us of the stark disparities in access to nourishment and the harsh realities of economic hardship. Amidst the debate, Susanna Reid struck a note of caution, reminding viewers that fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Each body is unique, and what works for some may not work for others. In a world where millions struggle to put food on the table, the spectacle of a billionaire's fasting regime serves as a stark reminder of the gaping inequalities that persist. So, as the morning sun continues its ascent, Let's take a moment to reflect on the complexities of hunger, health, and privilege. And remember, in a world filled with abundance and scarcity alike, empathy and understanding are the ties that bind us all together.